Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SEL 4 motion turbo. This particular one is Kingfisher Blue on the exterior with crystal gray and titan black leather on the interior. It features an LED running light, an LED light bar, an illuminated front logo right here. The aggressive front grille here with the splash of chrome down here at the base and then flat silver finish down below, giving it a much more rugged look on the front. Stacked LED headlights with adaptive front steering. You also have the cross sport flare on the quarter panel and into the door panel. 20 inch machine black and silver alloy wheels. That sharp deep bow line down the side into the wheel arches, under the door handles, into the wheel arch and into the tail lights. Silver window surrounds here and silver roof rails at the top to finish it off. Integrated turn signals with body colored paint on those, turn, on those mirror caps. You also have two faux exhaust tips at the base of the bumper here, underneath the oversized reflector there. A 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin adapter included. And then the LED light bar that continues across the back into the illuminated logo and across to the other side. It says Atlas right below the Volkswagen logo there. SEL off to the left, four motion off to the right. That's how you know it's all wheel drive. Let's take a look at the inside. As we open this up here, it's carbon fiber pattern up here on the door panel around the, the door latch here. Flat silver finish there. Leatherette up here, quartzite gray with a separating uh, contrast stitch right here. And then perforated quartzite gray here. And then down here, black leatherette as well with a uh, contrast stitch there. Bottoms to the door handles now, silver tips on the window switches. And then a bottle and cup storage pocket down here. There's your latch for the power lift gate. I can lift up on that and hold, and that will actually close that lift gate as well. Just hold it until it closes. Stainless steel scuff plate down here as you enter the car. Three seat memory here, power lumbar, forward back up and down is handled with this guy here and a seat back adjust here. A double contrast stitch on the edge of, edge of the bolster here. It goes up behind the shoulders here. The seat is heavily perforated, it's heated and ventilated. You also have an adjustable headrest here with that button there and then a double contrast stitch on the headrest. Armrest right here in the middle, double contrast stitch, it's leatherette padding there. And there's a look at your two outboard seats that are also heated and also leather and perforated. And then that middle seat there is leatherette with adjustable headrest on all three seats. As we go to climb in here, here's a look at your digital cockpit right here. There are multiple screens here that you can choose from with the view button there pretty cool that you can do all this here um, and then you also have a leather wrap steering wheel with a flat bottom here um, and it is heated as well uh, splash of piano black down here in the base of the, the steering wheel flat silver finish on the spokes here volume control off to the left song skip and preset skip off to the right your Volkswagen assistant and then also um, your uh, Google assistant and Siri are all right there you do get paddle shifters now on the steering wheel and it's an adjustable steering wheel, so I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, set it where I need, and then lock it back. On the tip of the turn signal stock here, I do have a button here that brings up my safety features. Lane assist, adaptive cruise control, uh, regular cruise control, side assist, uh, rear traffic alert, and front assist as well. So um, over here on the screen, 12 inch infotainment screen here. I can wave my hand across right here, and there's gesture control there, pretty cool. Can wave it down as well and wave it up no it doesn't want to go up there you go um, and then I also have the home button here where I can hit this button here and get the split screen here hit it again I go back to the menu uh, on this menu there are other items here down below the assist systems and things of that nature I can go here and actually access the same assist systems that I did on a turn signal stock here so you have all of this good stuff here this car does also have a head up display. You can barely see it flickering right there on camera right there. Um, and it is adjustable, you can move that around. And also there's a setting in there where when it's snowing, you can actually change it from white to blue. Uh, so you can see it on a snowy road. Um, the big thing here though, App Connect, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all that stuff is standard. And it's all wireless with a wireless charger down here. I can charge my phone in the case right here unless I have one of those thick outer boxes or maybe a pop socket on the back. But with the case in case on it, I can still charge here in most cases. USB-C 
uh, USB-C uh, plugins over here. They are also, um, let's see here. There's an adjustment right there. Um, and then up here, auto dimming home link mirror with three door garage door memory and a digital compass there as my rear wiper is on. Black headliner here. There's a vanity mirror on each side with a, a LED light above. You have that on each side here. And then there's sunshade right here. You can touch right there, swipe back, and then the sunroof, touch here, and swipe back. That pane of glass stacks on top of that one right there. Pop up windscreen right here. Tinted window on the, or tinted sunroof as well. And I'm gonna turn the temperature down here. On this climate control here, I'm gonna go back to that real quick here. Um, I can just touch right here and bring this screen up. Um, so you have all of these different settings here. You also have air care, which is your air filtration system. It's not gonna work as long as I have the sunroof open. So I'm gonna slide the sunroof closed here. So it's telling me the sunroof is open. I can turn on air care here though, but it won't start until that sunroof closes. There goes the sunroof, it's closed. So now that blue line is expanding. It's showing me uh, the progress here. That's my air filtration system. It filters out the bad air before it circulates in the cabin. Then you also have your classic climate, of course, where you can adjust your vent, vent set up here. Your heated seat is also right here, and so is your ventilated seat. It starts on high, then medium, then low, then off on both of these. And you have it for both driver and passenger. There's your fan speed adjustment right there, the temperature adjustment right here. You do also have smart climate. Hello, Volkswagen. My feet are cold. Okay, warming your feet in the front. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, now, down here, new shifter. A start stop button is new too. Park button right here, that's new. The shifter handles reverse, neutral, drive, and sport mode. Park is a button right there. If I flip up, if I put my foot on the brake and flip up, it chimes like an Audi, it gives me the little yellow highlighted reverse icon there, and then there's my rear view camera. I do have trajectory steering, so I can turn the wheel right, turn the wheel left, the yellow line moves accordingly, green line signifies straight back, and the red line signifies where my bumper is and where my rear hatch will open, so you don't want anything to cross that red line. Go ahead and put it back in park here. I have gloss black right here. Oh, and the auto start stop, that button's right there, and then I can swipe across, there's my tire pressure, and there's my oil level right there. So we have all of that good stuff there. Um, and again, that gesture control makes me able to move things around right there. Also, ambient lighting in this car. We're gonna go to vehicle, tap vehicle again up top here, do interior, ambient lighting. Now I can turn off ambient lighting or turn it on. I can also turn off the automatic color. Now I have control over what color it is. Purple, orange, green, red, blue, any different color there. Also, I can swipe down, but we'll go back here, and then I can swipe down, and I can change it from bright to dark. I'm gonna leave it on bright, though, for the first customer, they can figure it out. There you go. Um, the um, piano black finish right here, it goes over all of this here. It's also on your key fob here. There's your key fob there, pretty chunky, but it's got the uh, panic alarm on it, power lift gate, remote start, unlock and lock, the storage bin right here, another storage bin down below, and then in here, whoa, this one came from the factory, there's some trash in there that we didn't clean out, the porter didn't clean out, but there is your uh, media cable right there, uh, this is not standard, this is coming on some of the newer ones now, um, and then there's a USB-C there that is also backlit, you can get a medium sized purse in here, um, a small to medium sized purse in here easily, uh, over here in the glove box, there's your manuals right there and your tire warranties underneath that right there. This seat is also power. Over here on the side, there's the lever to move it forward and back, up and down. And then over here on the side, you can do the seat back adjust. Bottle and cup storage over there. And let's take a look at the back here. Oh, and there's a look at the ambient lighting there down below. It's starting to show up on camera there. You can kind of see it, a little purple leaking through. I always set it to purple. That's my favorite. My favorite color is green, but on these cars, purple is my favorite. $49,888 is the price on this one here. Extras include the 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror, 
296 for monster mats, 275 for uh, prepaid maintenance for a third year, 110 for a luggage net, 17 bucks for a USB K, uh, adapter, and 13.50 for destination. Brings you to 49.888. There's a look at the seats there. The two outboard seats are heated and are leather. They're perforated leather as well. The front, uh, the middle seat here is leatherette. Uh, that one is not heated, but there's a fold down armrest right here in the middle. Squishy yet firm and adjustable headrests on all three seats. That carbon fiber finish goes around the door handle here and in the sunshade right here. You have a sunshade on each side and then you also have leatherette right here, perforated leather right here, more leatherette down below and a contrast stitch here. There's bottom to the, the door handle there and then your three compartments here for storage. Back here in the back, lots of leg room. Here's a look at my socks today. Pockets here and here. And you have vents right here. Heated seats for both passengers in the back on the outboard seats. It start on high, then medium, then low, then off on each side. And then you also have two USB-Cs right here and a three-prong plug-in right there. There's a look up. Instrument cluster right there, center console, and then your panoramic sunroof. It goes all the way back over your head here. Lots of leg room here, and I can actually recline this seat too. So I'm actually reclined now. Um, so you won't be able to see that on camera, but there's so much leg room back here in the back. And there's a look at your wheel right there. All right, and back here at the back, beneath the illuminated logo, right between the T and the L, is the switch to open the hatch. Here's a look through from the back to the front. Panoramic sunroof, instrument cluster there, seats reclined right there. Cargo blocks, carpet squares right there to cover the gap in between your seats when they're folded down. Monster mats here. Cargo protection system underneath the floor here. There's a spare tire. Jack apparatus is off to the side. Bag hook on each side right here and here. 12 volt charger port right there. And then a recessed LED trunk light on each side. There's your button to close the hatch. And this car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. It's four years, 50,000 miles and include three years of included maintenance on this particular car. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you an additional three years of free maintenance. So your 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60,000 mile oil changes are all covered. Those are a local deal only for those remaining, those are extra three. Uh, so you'll have to redeem those at my dealership. Also, remember you can fly in and drive out. I'm gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty on any gas powered uh, engine Volkswagen, any new Volkswagen, I should say. 10 year. 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in this car or another one like it, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.